We're back at it, episode three. Today we're gonna to be changing our tires. But I'm also gonna be checking the brakes and greasing our caliper pins. So, like always, today I'm having our home brew from the last time we bottled it together and chopped house on repeat. Today's episode is specifically for guys that have more shoes and more sneakers in the closet than their wife does. And I want you to think about your tires as shoes for your car and that you should pay as much attention to these shoes as your own. So let's get started. So today we're gonna to be working on my 2007 Honda Civic, which is covered in pollen and bird shit, but uh, she's a beaut, she keeps going. So what you wanna do is just jack up the front end of your car and uh, pull off your tire. Okay, so when you bring in your tires, most of the time, they're not going to have the time to check or do anything. They want to just get the tires out and your car out. You're going to take an extra few steps here and just do it yourself. Uh, that way you can ensure that your brakes last for a really long time. And uh, you know, that you're not going to be getting that dragging and that kind of stuff. A lot of times people change the winter tires and the number one complaints are your nuts get loose, you get a wobble, your brakes stick, things start to drag and you burn through your brakes a lot faster than you would. So this is your brake assembly. Brake rotors, and you got your caliper. So in order to grease your caliper pins, you're gonna to wanna to take these two bolts back here, just slide them out, and then you're gonna be able to slide out your caliper. Uh, let's do that. What you're gonna to wanna to check here is your pins. You wanna be able to have your pins move in and out. This is what sticks, maybe it gets dry, maybe the loop gets away from you. Sometimes they'll be the same pins. Most of the time they'll have a little rubber piece on the top part. Um, there's a slotted pin and that's usually on the bottom side. They say it's for uh, drainage, I guess. So here in Canadian winters, uh, this is never going to be a problem in Florida. You might have the same brakes for 15 years. What often happens is rust is going to build up on these ledges here and they're going to push these clips tight against your brake pads and they're going to want to hold it in there. So if you're prying this with a screwdriver, that's a no-go. So as long as everything's moving fine, uh, you can just clean everything, your pins, put some fresh lube on them, and pop it all back in and you should be good to go until next, uh, next spring. So normally I use Permatex to lube up my uh, brake caliper pins here, uh, which I can't find today, but I've got this extra little pack of uh, brake lube that came with my uh, brake pack the last time I did these things a couple years ago. So give them a quick clean. Don't go crazy here on the lube. There's a nice thin coat on it. Fresh lube on there. Slide that pin back in. Bit of lube. Slide it back in. Squealing brakes. Sometimes you can apply a little bit of lube to the back side of these pads here, which is gonna be on uh, these surfaces here. The vibration is what squeals when you're stopping. So I may go ahead and do that right now. This is the back side. It's got my squealer on it. If you're not changing your pads, you won't have to push this piston back in. You should be able to just fit it from the last time, slide it right back over. Nice and quick. You could put a little lube on these. I've got a little bit of anti-seize from the last time I did this. Slide it back in. Don't go crazy on the torque. They're small bolts and they're fine thread. So don't over torque these. You just want to give it a nice little eh. That's it. So you want to go more than that. There is a torque spec on it. I believe it's like 25 or something, 30 foot pounds. That's all you need. It's as simple as that. Now you just rinse and repeat four times around. 
if you grab yourself a couple beers in between, and then uh, make a day of it. But take the time now, and it'll save you down the line. I don't know why I have a wheel lock. Uh, no one's gonna be stealing these tires. Remember, if there's something that you can do yourself better than other people can do for you, then it means extra money in your pocket, you save in the long term, more money in her pocket, she's happy. So if you have some advice or some other things that you would do, let me know in the comments. Uh, this is how I do it and it's served me well for the last uh, so many years. Thanks for checking in and we'll see you next time.